From the WYLN studios in Hazleton and all over northeastern Pennsylvania, this is WYLN News. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. Tuesday night, Hazleton City Council went off their agenda to vote on a resolution to borrow money to avoid layoffs. Councilwoman Grace Cuzo brought up the idea last week for the city to borrow up to $420,000. That money, coupled with about $80,000 the city is getting from refinancing bond issues, should give the city enough money to spare city workers. Council's vote? four to nothing to approve the resolution, with Vice President Gene Mope being absent. The mayor believes if Cuzo plans, plans work, it will only put off the layoffs for a few months. Cousat said that the council approved this year's budget with cuts in salaries for employees. The mayor said he is reviewing the resolution. A Lehighton man was killed Tuesday in his home by a man from Lehigh County. According to state police, 44-year-old Brian Linder of Cole Street in Lehighton was allegedly killed by 29-year-old Yessi Riviera of Easton. Troopers say Linder's throat had been cut in the basement of the home. Troopers added that Riviera fled the scene and was picked up Tuesday evening in Easton. He was arraigned on charges of criminal homicide, robbery of a motor vehicle, and two counts of aggravated assault. Because it is a homicide charge, no bail was set, and he is committed to the county prison. Troopers say the investigation is ongoing. Police in Lansford are looking for the public's help in finding a missing woman. 25-year-old Caitlin Caraman was last seen on March 30th. She has not had any contact with family or friends, and police say there are other circumstances surrounding the case. Caitlin is about 5 feet 2 inches tall, weighing 120 pounds. If anyone has information on her whereabouts, they're asked to contact the Lansford Police Department at 570-645-5844. A South Carolina woman was arrested and brought back to Pennsylvania to face charges for theft. 41-year-old Shanika Logan of Greenville allegedly emailed the manager's office at Fairway Motors in Hazleton back on January 27th. She posed as the owner and asked Fairway to transfer over $18,000 into her account. The manager believed that the money was for a vehicle purchase and it was sent to her SunTrust account. When Fairway discovered the email was a fraud, they contacted police. Logan was tracked down and extradited back to Luzerne County. She's charged with theft by deception and receiving stolen property. She was arraigned and taken to prison for lack of $15,000 bail. A former Wilkes-Barre area teacher pled guilty in court today for having inappropriate conduct with two students. 37-year-old Robert Havard was charged in October for two separate incidents which occurred in 2008 and 2009. He allegedly admitted to having oral sex with two underage students. He was also the former Coughlin Boys soccer coach and a teacher at Solomon Plains Junior High School. He resigned from the school district back in November. Havard pled guilty to two misdemeanor counts of corruption of minors. His sentencing date has been set for June 13th. Police in Wilkesbury had to taser an intoxicated man after he allegedly got into an altercation with them. 29-year-old Robert Ankadovich was arrested Monday night on East Beatty Street for public intoxication and disorderly conduct. He was then taken to police headquarters where he became combative with officers. He allegedly grabbed an officer's arm and pulled it toward him. Three other officers tried to get him on the ground as he kicked and struggled with them. He had to be tased twice before letting go of the officer's arm. He's charged with aggravated assault, resisting arrest, disorderly conduct, and public intoxication. He was arraigned yesterday and taken to the Luzerne County Prison for lack of $20,000 bail. April was a busy month for the Wilkes-Barre Township Police Department. On the department's Facebook page, they listed April's crime statistics. 
During April, the police department responded to 531 calls for service. They included 61 motor vehicle accidents, 21 thefts, and 200 traffic violations. The report also shows police arrested 29 adult offenders either through direct contact after the crime was committed or the charges were filed against persons as a result of concluding a criminal investigation. Wilkes-Barre Township Police also stated the overall crime rate for the township has decreased 24.87 percent. Pennsylvania has signed a three-year deal with the state of Vermont to take inmates they cannot house in their prisons due to overcrowding. State Senator John Udichak and Representative Tara Tuhill believe this move by the state is a good one. This will make the state money to fill the budget hole and keep our prisons open. I think um, we are looking to have a revenue source and this is a potential revenue source if other states have a lack of beds um, and they, they're overcrowded, they can give us some of their prisoners, they can rent beds from us. We recognize that we have to be innovative and creative and this partnership, this interstate agreement now to bring uh, up to 400 inmates could mean $10.5 million for the state of Pennsylvania. Both believe this is a step in the right direction for the state looking at other ways to make money instead of raising taxes. National Prescription Drug Take Back Day took place this past Saturday and proved to be very successful in Schuylkill County. According to the Sheriff's Department, over 407 pounds of drugs were collected. People dropped off their unwanted and expired medication at the county courthouse and area police departments. The drugs were then collected on Monday and disposed of by the Drug Enforcement Agency. Residents can still drop off unwanted prescription meds at the Schuylkill County Courthouse during normal business hours Monday through Friday. Coming up on WILN News, school district administrators meet with members of the community to get their input. Plus, could Congressman Barletta be making a run for the Senate? That story's ahead. But first, a frost advisory from 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. So if you have sensitive plants outdoors, cover them or bring them in. As we head out to break, let's take a look at your seven-day forecast from the WILN Weather Center. Remember, you can get all your inf weather information at WILNTV.com. We'll be right back. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Stories, a glorious story, the sweetest that's ever been told. They found they were handy at making fine candy for family and friends to behold. Word spread through the land that Victoria's candies would one day be leading the rest. Now that day is here, for the facts are quite clear that, that Victoria's candies are best. A special meeting was hosted last night by members of the Hazleton Area School District at the YMCA. Community outreach meetings are held around four to five times a year to get parents and public involved on what's going on within the school district. The meetings are held at different locations throughout the area to incorporate outlying communities. 
now we have the opportunity to go on. This is a, uh, an initiative that I began and Mr. Donati uh, were partnering and reaching out to community members, parents, patrons. And the idea of the meetings is to establish an open forum, discuss issues that we're dealing with in the district, uh, celebrate the, the great things that are happening in the district, but also don't be afraid to address the issues and the problems and look for opportunities to improve. One of the topics discussed last night was the student attendance policy. Schools will now allow seven absences per marking period. If students miss six days without an excuse, depending on their age, they would have to enter a program to improve attendance or make an appearance before children and youth services. Parents could also pay the price. They could face up to $750 worth of fines or three days in jail. The school district has hired two truant officers and a home visitor. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs warning of a phone scam where callers claim to represent the Veterans Choice Program. A phone line has been set up by an unknown party to mimic the real Veterans Choice Program phone number. Veterans are urged to hang up if the phone line offers a $100 rebate if the caller provides credit card information. The phone line also does not state that the caller has reached the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. The correct phone number is 1-866-606-8198. If you're unsure that you have reached the right line, hang up and dial again. The phone scam has been reported to the VA Office of Inspector General for a possible criminal investigation. Congressman Lou Barletta voting yesterday for legislation that would grant flexibility to workers when it comes to overtime pay. The House passed a bill that would allow workers to either receive overtime pay or choose paid time off. Public sector employees have had that cho choice for nearly three decades. The Working Families Flexibility Act of 2017 updates the law so that private sector workers have the same opportunity. The House passed the bill by a vote 229 to 197. That bill now goes to the Senate for consideration. Speaking of Congressman Barletta, a published report out today says that he is considering challenging U.S. Senator Bob Casey in next year's election. According to Barletta's campaign consultant, Barletta is being encouraged by President Donald Trump to do so. The 61-year-old Barletta is currently serving his fourth term in Congress, representing the 11th district that stretches from South Central to Northeastern Pennsylvania. Barletta would become the most recognizable name in a field of about six or seven that want to challenge Casey. 56-year-old Casey plans to seek a third six-year term in the Senate, and Casey has been a fierce critic of President Trump. Coming up on Hanover Township's News Choice, we hear from Hazleton Chamber officials about a big event coming up in Community and You. But first, let's take a look at today's winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played. Stay with us. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. It's spelled different because we are different. Physical is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. If you're tired of living in pain, if you want to move better, overcome an injury or balance disorder, or you just want to improve your strength and conditioning, our highly skilled team of medical experts will help you get back to living the life you enjoy. New mentality, new body, new life. Get physical. Whether you're a homeowner renovating your first kitchen or a professional contractor remodeling your 100th kitchen, we're here to work with you every step of the way. We feature Homecrest and Omega cabinets, bathrooms and entertainment cabinets, along with solid surface countertops for Mica and Wilson Art products. We offer affordable installation. All this and more at Morris Kitchens LLC. Appointments welcome. Call 570-825-6956.
Are you looking to light up your business? Then you need to visit Shadler Yesco Distribution Incorporated. They're the premier electrical distributor in Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, Poconos, and Hazleton. Specializing in extensive electrical lighting automation and datacom inventory to meet your contractor, commercial, or industrial needs. Don't go with a national company. Go with an independent, locally owned company that cares. Shadler Yesco Distribution Incorporated. Visit them at SYDIST.com. Come experience the difference. Welcome to the community and you here on WYL and we're going to talk about a great event celebrating 125 years of the Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce at their annual executive business, uh, well, expo, um, fun night. But this is really cool. Last year, for many years, we've had a, an expo where people come out, see what goes on, and we have a dinner with uh, some awards being presented. This is where you thank board members uh, and the Athena Award. But this year, to celebrate 125 years, you guys are changing up a little bit. We are. We figured 125, right? Turn over a new leaf and, and let's go at it. So as you know, our members, our fantastic members, are central to the work that we do mm -hmm. at the Greater Hazleton Chamber. And so the expo is really the highlight on the variety of businesses and services that are offered right here in the greater Hazleton area. So we're gonna do the recognition of the 2017 Athena Award mm -hmm. sponsored by Burger Dealer. This will be the 31st time we're wow. awarding that one. Um, our annual meeting, kind of the business part of it with new board members and some highlights from the year. We're gonna have a champagne toast because you do have to celebrate 125 <laughs> years, Gary. And then we're gonna have everyone go into the expo and there will be some you know, seating and, and things like that. But the, the concept is like a progressive dinner. So mixed in with the, uh, the different businesses that have booths in the trade show mm -hmm. will also be five different stations. Uh, again, and the, kind of the food portion of it and the celebration with along with a cash bar so uh, the ultimate experience of business in the greater Hazleton mm -hmm. area and Gary as you said we've really tried hard the last couple of years to have a lot of fun there are a couple special surprises <laughs> there from our good friend Adam at scuba entertainment mm -hmm. and uh, some prizes which right everyone likes to win everyone a prize so them, yeah. we're gonna celebrate we want to uh, our attendees to celebrate well, and that's so great. And you know what? This is a wonderful event. Last year we got to take part in it uh, and have a lot of booths were there, a lot of businesses showing off what they do and, and really what how many different businesses we have here in the greater Hazleton area is just amazing. So there are still room for businesses if they want to take part in uh, a large booth or a small booth. There's different options available for them. There are. And again, the website and the chamber office. And like I said, um, I guess a job fair or a trade show will supply the table and the uh, <laughs> the setup mm -hmm. and you can supply obviously the services each of the booths come with two event tickets so uh, and there, there's a chance that you can purchase more if you would like that to um, to attend so we really think it should be fun and like I said definitely the largest event on the the chambers docket in a busy calendar year and uh, like I said we really do have a lot to celebrate 125 years and, and it's wonderful so 125 years of service to the area it's Thursday May 18th uh, from 5 to 8 p.m. at Janetti's Ballroom, of course, right on Route 309. And uh, this is such a, a great event. I've been to it for many years. Uh, a lot of networking still goes on at this. Uh, there's a lot of learning about businesses. You may see their name, you may hear them, but you may not know exactly what they do. And when they have all their stuff set up, this is a great way for them to see. And is there any any theme that people should know of this year? Is there anything different that we should we should know besides really how everything's set up? Uh, so in addition, because there's 125 years that we're celebrating, it's kind of, we've let all of the folks choose. Maybe there's a particular booth. We have um, five members that are over 100 years. Wow. And you know, there are some great businesses that have, I'll, I'll use our friends at Hazel Drugs, some fantastic photos of Hazel Drugs or Broad Street in the you know in mm -hmm. the early 1900s and things like that and so kind of whatever they wanted to do with that historical or that history theme or spotlighting um, a particular year and you know what Gary I can say from the list of booths that we do have com 
uh, confirmed so far, we have a lot of newer businesses to our area. Wow. And that always makes me happy, too, because um, I've been in this community for a long time now, not 125 <laughs> years. Um, and uh, to see some of the new things. And again, when you see a name on a sign or something or an ad in a newspaper, it doesn't necessarily, mm -hmm. if, if they've added on a new service or expanded, going in uh, alternate directions, always great to come out and find those things out. And it's a wonderful event. Again, it will take place on Thursday, May 18th at Genetti's and on Route 309 in Hazel Township. And for more information, you can contact the chamber, head to their website, or give them a call at their office on Broad Street. Thanks so much for joining us on Community and you, everyone. We'll see you next time. customers. I think I need help with my website. Thank you for calling web.com. How can I help you? I need some serious help with my website. I could definitely help you with that today. Awesome. Do you want to work in a fun atmosphere and help small businesses like this succeed online? Call 1-844-JOBS-WEB and apply today. Tuesday, state police troopers and their families gathered to remember the 97 troopers that have been killed in the line of duty. State Police Commissioner Colonel Tyree Blocker told those in attendance the 97 will never be forgotten for their service to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. During the service, Blocker paid tribute to Trooper Landon Weaver. He was killed in December of 2016. For 112 years, at all cost, the Pennsylvania State Police has stood against those who prey upon the weak and disadvantaged. On behalf of over 6,000 men and women of the Pennsylvania State Police, we stand before you today to pay our respects to those who have fallen. Today is State Police Memorial Day. It's a very special day for not only the family members of our fallen troopers, but also for active and retired troopers joining us today as well. We're here to pay remembrance to those lives lost in the line of duty dating back to when our department was formed in 1905. Today is obviously the first State Police Memorial Day since we lost Trooper Weaver back in December. So it's a solemn day for his family and it's a, it's a special day for us and we're glad that they're joining us today for this special celebration. We're remembering his life first and foremost, and the sacrifice that he made for the department. Colonel Blocker presented the Pennsylvania State Police Cross to Trooper Weaver's wife, Macy. She was joined by several members of the Weaver family. The ceremony also included the unveiling of a new memorial wall and a searchable computer kiosk at the State Police Academy containing the names, pictures, and stories of each of the 97 members who have died in the line of duty. An online memorial of an online version of the memorial wall is available at www.psp.pa.gov. Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN News. Stories, a glorious story, the sweetest that's ever been told. They found they were handy at making fine candy for family and friends to behold. 
Word spread through the land that victorious candies would one day be leading the rest. Now that day is here, for the facts are quite clear that, that victorious candies are best. Are you looking to light up your business? Then you need to visit Shadler Yesco Distribution Incorporated. They're the premier electrical distributor in Scranton, Wilkesbury, Poconos, and Hazleton. Specializing in extensive electrical lighting automation and datacom inventory to meet your contractor, commercial, or industrial needs. Don't go with a national company. Go with an independent, locally owned company that cares. Shadler Yesco Distribution Incorporated. Visit them at SYDIST.com. Come experience the difference. It's time to find your copy of the Freeland Progress. Look inside for information on the Pennsylvania Dart Tournament and more. The Freeland Progress is free at locations throughout Freeland, Whitehaven, Blakeslee, Berwick, Cunningham, Drums, and the Hazleton area. When you see news happening in your neighborhood, call WYLN News at 570-459-1869 or email us at news at WYLNTV.com or send us a message on social media through Facebook. WYLN, we're your local network. WYLN TV 35 has a position available for a sports reporter slash videographer. Please send resumes and demo reels to Gary Perna, News Director, 1057 East 10th Street, Hazleton, Pennsylvania, 18201, or email news at WYLNTV.com. WYLN is an equal opportunity employer. <laughs> 